We are animals built by evolution. Natural selection and genetic mutation collaborate to build a better mousetrap with each generation. And we're the product of four billion years of successive improvements. That is, improvements that favor one particular proficiency, reproduction. From our physiology to our psychology, we are built to carry out one objective. Yes, we're all sex machines. Of course, it isn't that simple, is it? There's a lot involved in ensuring the survival of one's genes. And it's a good thing, too, because evolution has also built into us the will to live and to enjoy life and the ability to reason and experience and ponder and love, even if they were just adjunct conditions for the survivability of our genes. I think most of us, I hope most of us, value many more things besides the passing of our genes. And as long as that is true, there is a divergence between our values and our instinctual nature as human beings, or you could say the values of nature itself. So I want to focus now on that word, instincts. I think people use their instincts entirely too often. They trust their instincts to guide them on the biggest issues in their lives, to determine the true nature of reality. A God belief, for instance, is just a feeling many people have. They just know God is there. Instinct, revelation, premonition, faith, and intuition are often referenced for specific God beliefs. These terms as I'm using them can all be defined in the same way, a perception of truth independent of any reasoning process. Incidentally, ignorance also fits that mold, but from now on I'm just going to use intuition as a shorthand for all these approaches. Now, in light of what we know about evolutionary psychology, is intuition really better than reason? How about when we're asking important questions? Consider a man using his intuitions to secure a mattress to the roof of his car for a five-mile journey. Would it make a difference if you were to ask him to rely on those same intuitions to secure his grandmother to the roof of his car for the same trip? While a few bungee cords would be enough to subdue his concern for the mattress, you can bet he would have his grandmother wrapped up like Toot and Common before he'd be willing to so much as release the parking brake. It clearly isn't a matter of wind resistance here. It's a matter of importance. And the God question isn't just any question. This is our meaning, purpose, destiny, and origins rolled all into one. The answer to this question dictates how we construct many of our future beliefs about reality. Should a question of this importance be trusted with a methodology that actually distinguishes itself by its indifference to reason? Reason says there are no gods, and that our intuitions are less than reliable. If you ask me, reason wins. And I'm not saying we should never trust our intuitions. If someone intuits that they would prefer the soup over the salad without the benefit of a reasoning process, that's just fine. But the more crucial a question, the less I think we should depend upon intuition, and with good reason.